Hi guys. So I wanted to come on and um, share uh, a couple dreams. Um, <clears throat> so um, there was, okay, so my first dream was in the past few days. Um, I was walking with my husband through this casino and I was like, I don't, why am I even in a casino? And there was a lot of drinking and stuff going on. And, um, I just remember walking through being like, I don't go to the casino. I, cause I don't, I don't drink or gamble you guys. <laughs> um, I was told by the Lord, you know, not to do those things. He's, he told me in a dream, um, thou shall have no other gods before me. So with all this like grace message and everything, there are things that the Lord does not want you still to do. Um, if, and everything like, um, if you're doing something, don't make it your God. Don't make it your God. He is a jealous God and you can don't idolize things. You can make things your idol. And there are things that you do in your life. Um, that's why when you have the Holy Spirit, you, you practice self-control. You don't make things, um, your God. You don't idolize things. Come on. Um, that's very, very important. There are some people that are, they can't help their situation and stuff, but, and the Lord is gracious and merciful. We know he died on the cross, but, um, there are things in your life that the Lord's going to bring your attention to that. He doesn't, he does not want you to do like, uh, you know, I had a dream about someone looking at pornography and I heard the Lord say, thou shall not steal, thou shall not covet, thou shall not drink the blood of your neighbor. Um, and drinking something is drinking a view. You're taking a view in and drunk drunkardness, you're, you're becoming drunk off of that view. You see what I mean? So, um, it's very important that you let the Holy Spirit, um, lead and guide you and speak to you about things. You know, once you get the revelation and you give your life to Christ and you accept him as your Lord and savior, uh, and you ask forgiveness of your sins, he l gives you the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit dwells inside of you. It becomes like your, your super mega conscience, I guess you could say. And he'll tell you these things, what to do and what not to do that glorifies him. Um, and when you're like, if you gamble, you're using the Lord's money that he gave to you. Now this could not even mean that it could mean you're gambling. I don't know your, the decisions you're making, you make your, you're making a gamble on it. You're making a bet. The definition of gambling is there's a lot of definition definitions to that. Um, so we have to use wisdom and we have to use discernment. And, uh, I really think the Lord's trying to say that there are some things going on, um, with the YouTube people in general, um, behind closed doors about an attack. There's an attack taking place and, um, he just wants us to know that he loves us and, and everything's going to be okay. Um, my next part of my dream Um, this was on, this was last night. I had a lot of dreams like, um, um, men welding things together like a project. Um, but so I was standing in my front yard and I was about, I was standing by my door and I was looking out and there was a lot of, um, YouTube family in the body of Christ and they were the ones that make the videos. Um, there was probably about 40 women there. And um, I 
looked out, I seen like, I seen uh, Rhonda and uh, Melissa and Terry, Chanda. Um, let's see, those are the ones that, that stood out to me because those are the people that I watch. But um, there was a couple others, I can't remember. Um, one of my other friends. Um, Okay, sorry, distraction, but, um, so those, and uh, just a few others, but there was, um, a lot of different women there, and what was going on was we were very, uh, what's the word for it? We were all very, like, something's wrong, something's, or something's gonna happen, we were very serious, um, and we knew there was like an attack or we, I can't, I can't remember the conversations that were taking place, but all of us had something to say. Like, well, I was just watching and I was like, okay, this is the plan of attack. But it was, um, people would, you know, when you're all standing out in a group and you're talking about some serious stuff and um, your opinions and your your uh, your ideas about the situation and you know this and that and uh, that's what was going on in my uh, in my front yard. There were some people in the house. Both of my doors were open, the the side door and the front door, and we were all just there. We were standing. Somehow their arms crossed. Some were kind of looking around, just thinking, and uh, and what was going on was um, we were going to, we were figuring out, uh, we were going to have a sewing session, and I know when you think, oh, a quilt, it's a quilting. What we were going to do was take all of our white t-shirts and put them together and sew them together and create a quilt, but we were all talking about... Um, just a very serious conversation and people were adding into the conversation. We were all listening to one another. Um, and there was a few elderly, uh, women there. They were like the sewing grandmaster ladies, you know, they were gonna, um, show us how to do this. And, uh, they were inside my house. They were getting the sewing machines ready, um, there was a bunch of them. We were going to sit down and we were going to sew all of our white t-shirts together and create a quilt. And I, it was like a remedy of a problem, uh, I believe. But, um, so when I woke up, it really stood out to me and I was really thinking about it. And, uh, I believe that the Lord was just saying, there's some things that are either occurring right now or, are going to be occurring, um, like an attack. I don't know, but we were all putting in our, uh, knowledge about things and, um, how to sew this quilt and not the conversation. A lot of it wasn't even about the quilt. It was, I wish I could remember what other people were saying and their knowledge that they were giving, but it was, had something to do with the whole reason why we were sewing this quilt is because there was a problem. So, um, anyway, so I just want to share that with you guys and, uh, and put that out there. And anyway, I love you guys and the Lord, the Lord loves us. The Lord loves you. And, and I hope you're having a beautiful day.